Check out all these rotators. Today I'm going to be doing um, a, a personal favorite video I've been wanting to do for a very long time. This is Hulk, the famous 50 ton rotator that I use daily. But check this out. This is the 60 ton rotator my dad drives. And of course the world famous big flipper as well, the 75 ton rotator. And then Dave's beautiful rotator. So what exactly am I doing? I am going to be doing a demonstration of how strong exactly Hulk is. I do tons and tons and tons of, I mean, just look at my playlist if you guys are fans of this video, I mean, of this channel, of uh, crazy heavy lifting, rollovers day in, day out, container lifts, you name it. But, how strong exactly is Hulk? Well, let's find out. Alright, so this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be lifting up my dad's rotator. Unit 77, formerly known as Old Yeller. This was his second ever rotator in the fleet. And because of California laws, the uh, 2001 tractor is illegal. So now it's got a 2023. But the body's still a 2005 60 ton wrecker body. You'll never see something like this, 100% custom built, pieced together in-house by MacGyver. Well, let's start getting all the rigging set up. Alright, so the way I'm going to attempt to do this first lift is dual spreader bars. One in the front, one in the back. I don't have an approximate weight on this truck because, like I said, that cab is brand new. It used to be a single cab without the sleeper. Um, but my dad's truck used to weigh 58,000 pounds. I'm going to assume it's slightly more. So the way I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, I know what to do. Let's get this set up. All right, so we got both spreader bars connected. One on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. Shoof. And I will be putting on my load cells, one on each snatch block, just to see if I, if I time this right, each line should be about mm, 60, 60,000 combined, it's 30,000 each. From here, let's get my rigging. I'll put that one on the on the presumably heavy end, which is going to be this one. That load cell is good for fifty thousand pounds. This one, twenty five pounds. Yeah, dude. 25 tons. You didn't know that? I thought it was that. 50,000. Knuckle go. Next one, we'll put it. Good. I wonder if it meets money for the off. Yeah, there's no point here. I was told no. As long as it's not as long as it's not crazy. Oh, it's gotta be somewhere in the middle. It's the, the entire thing itself is the load bearing uh pin. I wanted to get another one like that. Well I got one of each just just to have. I do like this design better. I like that one better. Seems more accurate all across the the spectrum no matter how you, you flip it or whatever. Yeah. Are you gonna do a I'm, I'm keeping this will stay in the way it is. as is. 
you all heard that. That means uh, new rotator coming in. Now you guys follow this channel, you'll know how much I love my synthetic stuff. I'll be doing this entirely with all my Bailey's toe accessory synthetic slings. Just to give you a sneak peek at what's in order. These six foot straps are a, a whole version of the container slings. They're rated at 52,000 pounds in a basket. That will be connected to my new 10 foot platinum sling. I don't even think these are released yet, but they're made out of a material that's a lot more cut resistant compared to your standard slings. Those are at 30,000 pounds in a vertical. One on each end, or each corner. And this is what I meant. These, if we can get a close up, and it's upside down, because of course it is. 30,000 pounds in a vertical, which means if you double them up, you can get 60,000 pounds out of them and they're 10 feet. The cool thing about the synthetic stuff is you can get them custom made in any length, any size you want. So if you want this sling, say it'll be 100,000 pounds in a vertical and 20 feet long, 30 feet long, whatever's, well, your imagination's the limit. I'm gonna swing the truck and walk it over. All right, I'll hold this then, twist it. Ready? We're gonna do the front first. I'm gonna go all the way to the front. Right there's good. And we are rigged. Beautiful. Beautiful. Load cells on. Wow, they already got some weight on them. What do they say? 4,000. 2,060. All right. Let's do this. Let me stand on this side. Let's look. Twenty four K. I knew it. The front's heavier. I'm having to let out on the white cable. Okay guys, abort mission. The front load cell hit 40,000 pounds. Um, way too heavy for the rigging I had. This Miller spreader bar is only good for 40,000 itself. And then the snatch blocks are good for 15 tons, which is 30,000. My lines were 32, so once I hit that 40, I just let out with the cables instantly. But stay tuned because we got something super duper crazy planned on how to do this. All right, 
re-rig complete. I do not like overloading my equipment, so this one sure a super clean lift with absolutely no piece of equipment overloaded. Okay, the uh, the spreader bars are ready. And then we could put the load cell on the rear. I put the one on the rear? Like the two spreader bars go there, but that load cell will go on the rear. So just delete the load cell essentially. This is called continuous rigging. So I four parted the lines on the heavy side. So if you think about it uh, line wise, it's gonna be four lines to the front end. 16, 32, 48, 64,000 pounds of safe lifting, plus two snatch blocks, 60,000 uh, 60, pounds. All the rigging is way more than accounted for. Shackles. And then you'll see what I'm about to do for the rear. Let me help Alex right now. Ta-da! This is what it looks like with dual spreader bars in the front. Ain't that a sight. Now I'm doing this because with the single spreader bar, not only will I exceed that, but I'll exceed the limit of the snatch block, the lines, and the rigging. Never exceed your working load limit. And your equipment will last forever. So now I got the Bailey's Platinum Sings doubled up, two on each end. The only rigging that say the same is my uh six foot sling because this baby is rated at 52,000 pounds in this configuration Let's see if i can all right it's lifting time i put some tension on it I'm just waiting for alex to get back he'll take over hulk but check this out. Eleven thousand one hundred and sixty one eighty. Doesn't sound like much, does it? Until you see up there, I have the load cell on the termination point. So to get the true accurate weight reading on that side, times it by four. Since I four parted the line. So that's forty four thousand pounds on just that front. And I don't know where Alex went, so I'll just be taking over myself. Let's put some tension on the back end now, which is the white cable. both at the same time. Swinging. All right, sorry. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Just in case it swings, once I got airborne, I'm gonna have them fire up unit 21 and just back it up in the event of a failure, which I don't anticipate. If this thing swings, I don't wanna take out his nice bumper. But I mean, who would wanna damage this truck? It's a four axle DTU called the Beast. Oh, four. Axles off the ground. Beautiful. What are we reading at? Thirteen nine hundred and twelve six forty. 
13900 is the right cable and 12005 is the left cable so this back end that's connected to one single block is only holding 13,000 pounds and the other one is holding 50,000 pounds it's 12 5 times 4 is 50 exactly hence the dual spreader bar that's insane dude You guys want to see the crazy part? Look how stable Hulk is. Both outriggers still touching the ground. Drone time, baby. Hold on so I can get up close and personal with this. Bam. Look at all those snatch blocks. All right, so if you see right there on the D-ring on the right side, that's my load cell. So by having it up there, it measures the line, I mean the force of that line but there's one, two, three, and then terminates back up top. Four lines total, all continuous, all with the same amount of weight because as that line goes through this snatch block, it comes back up to that snatch block, goes back down through that snatch block, and then bam, terminates at the load cell. So when I was reading 12,500 pounds on that line, you multiply it by four, That's what you get. And here's how it looks from the opposite side on Hulk. From way up here. <laughs> so cool. And here's me for scale. So I don't care who you are, this is horribly impressive, man. A 50 ton lifting a 60 ton off the side. With such stability, man. Okay guys, I'm done with this. By the way, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, links are always in the description, but I'll put them right here. I kind of cheated because I knew that I would way more than have enough power to lift this truck because I lifted Big Flipper on Friday, a few days ago, which is sitting right there. All 74,000 pounds of Big Flipper. Now that video, um, I recorded, but unfortunately my audio cut out. I had the DJI mic and it died on me without me knowing. But um, instead of not uploading it, I'll just put it right after this. So you wanna see me with Big Flipper, stick around in about a minute.
And for the no audio part, instead of putting music or whatever, I'll just narrate over it. Rigging is exactly the same. That's how I knew to use the, the dual spreader bar up here and the dual 15 footers. These things are rated at 26,000 pounds on a vertical each. Oh yeah, that's freaking cool. All right, well, hope you guys enjoy this 60 ton rotator lift and enjoy the next lift on the 75 ton rotator, AKA Big Flipper. that a pretty sight today I'm gonna to be doing something I've never seen done before period this truck right here is big flipper our 75 ton rotator the only one in the city of Los Angeles it's a big 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 girl and right behind it that's Dave's truck by the way right behind it is Hulk my truck Hulk's a 50 ton rotator. Well, I feel like I'm constantly pushing the limits of what I can lift with this truck. And I was curious to see if I can lift this truck with this truck. A flipper weighs every bit of 74,000 pounds. And I'll be doing this off the side. Now this is gonna be the heaviest I've ever lifted off the side. I've never seen a 50 ton Miller rotator lift up this much weight on any YouTube channel. I'm sure it's been done like, you know, at a testing factory or a, a training school. But I'm gonna be doing all of this with my Bailey's toe accessories rigging. That strap right there is six foot in length and weighted at 52,000 pounds in a basket. I'll have one on each end. Let me get my spreader bar down and then uh, I'll get back to the camera. You guys are going to love this. All right, so we're going to use two spreader bars up on the front. I may or may not have done a test lift on Friday with phenomenal results. But I had the truck parked on the inside of my outriggers. So the trucks were practically kissing. I'll throw up a picture right now, right here. Now I wanna do it with the truck on the outside of my outriggers. And when I did that test, almost all the weight was on the front line. Are we set up the top first? Yeah. All right, so again, just to explain, the reason I'm gonna use two spreader bars in the front is because almost all the weight's gonna be on that front line. That's where the center of gravity is gonna be at and the back line's gonna be for control. So the lines on Hulk are about 16 and a half thousand pounds each. When you double it up with the snatch block, that gives you 32,000 pounds. And I'm gonna far exceed that so what I'm gonna do is double them up. I'm gonna part each of the lines up top and you'll see what I mean once it's all set up. I'm gonna be well within the working load limits on all the lines in the rigging. These Miller spreader bars are only good for about, I think 40,000 pounds, the way it's gonna be set up right now. That's where I'm gonna have two side by side since this truck weighs every bit of 74,000 pounds, plus all the rigging and stuff. 
I should be pretty safe. Okay, so unfortunately, this is the exact part that my DJI wireless mic died on me. Amazing device, absolutely love it. Game changer for wireless audio and all that, but yeah, I hadn't charged it from the previous job. So I am in my office. Now, the rigging and everything is the same. I don't feel too bad about it dying is because it's the same concept. I still have my platinum slings, the 52,000 pound in a basket, six foot slings around the outrigger. The dual spreader bar has already been, been explained. Everything's been covered, which is why this part isn't fast forward. The only main difference is uh, the rigging in the back. Instead of going to the outriggers, uh, I went to the tailboard right there on the back frame. But everything else is identical. Now, I think Flipper came in at 72,500 pounds naked. So when you add in all the chains, all the rigging, the spreader bars themselves, and everything else I have, I added about, I rounded it to 74,000 pounds. And I didn't have the load cell on this one. I had done this one on a Friday, and then the video you just seen with my dad's truck was three days later. But man, as you can see here, it handled it 10 times better than I expected. I started with this lift first, like I said. And I didn't think it would even do it. I honestly thought the truck would be leaning with the driver's side outriggers and tires five feet in the air. I just didn't think it'd be possible. And it did it. It handled it so well, which is what prompted me to do it again, but with my dad's truck. Um, it's I'm cheating a little bit because when the camera pans around, you'll see that my outriggers are kind of under, on the front outrigger underneath the cab of big flipper by a little bit see this is the part where i mean the the truck itself is not outside of the outriggers that would be impossible there's no way i mean hulk's a 50 ton it's just physically impossible big flipper weighs three quarters of a hundred thousand pounds so but i do wish that i had the audio on this part just so you could hear the truck sounds and all that but like i said you already saw it identical process in the first video this one's just 10,000 pounds heavier closer to 12,000 I think I I think my dad's truck was at 62 max if that and flippers about 74,000 pounds now I've personally never seen this done before anywhere close to this amount of weight I follow a ton of companies on Instagram Facebook uh, some of the bigger ones on YouTube I've seen the TV shows Stuff that people send me, I've never seen a Miller 50 ton lift this much weight off the side, period. Especially this far out. <laughs> so if you have, please send it to me, link me. I would absolutely love to. Uh, it's not a competition. Obviously, the truck's not designed for this. I'm past the structural rating. I know it can handle it. It's not going to break my truck, and it's just a one-time, you know, ego thing. But if you do come across anything like this please send it my way and this also opens up the possibilities to see what i could do with big flipper because if i could lift seventy four thousand off the side with a 50 ton imagine what i could do with a 75 ton so perhaps that video is in the works soon but i believe you guys have seen enough so peace out hope y'all enjoyed